Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Chat with Dano. Today, we've got exciting news. Today's the day. April 8th, 2024, Solar Eclipse Day. As most of you know, we live here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, as to where it's not going to be a total eclipse from where we are, we're going to get some good footage here later today. Just wanted to come on this morning here and talk about it a little bit before the big event. Uh, as in the recording of this video, it's April 7th, so it is the day before. But wanted to hang out, get your coffee together, let's chat a little bit about this huge event going on. I gotta tell you, Ohio's getting pretty packed. Ohio is getting crowded. They are coming in in droves uh, to see the total eclipse. Total Eclipse, like the complete 100%, uh, you got to go probably about mm, 10 to 15 miles northeast of here. However, I have a feeling it's going to be just as good or maybe better as we face the western side on the part of it's going to be on the east side. I have my own prediction that we're going to see more of the eclipse than what a lot of people think. I am going to do my best to get some footage of it. Me and Jessica have our glasses. We are excited. Uh, there hasn't been a total eclipse in this particular area, like a full-on, since like 1806. I mean, it's been a long time. Now, we had a total eclipse uh, like 20 years ago that was fairly close, but not in this direct line that it's going to be tomorrow, so... Today for you guys. Pretty exciting. I, I gotta say, I was not really into it at first, but they are really hyping it up around here and seeing the millions of people pouring into Ohio right now, it's it's pretty exciting. Got me in the mood. I was like, you know, I went out to my buddy's house yesterday. Uh, he lives out way out in Indiana and I was, I was coming through and on all the highway signs, you know those digital highway signs, uh, as you're coming back, off of 74, Highway 74, into Ohio, where the Welcome to Ohio sign is, all those different signs, those um, signals and everything, were saying, April 8th, solar eclipse, plan ahead. And I was thinking to myself, like, there is no traffic. And I was just thinking, like, well, tomorrow morning, all throughout Sunday, it's probably going to be gridlock traffic. And really, that's about as far as you have to go to see what I believe is the total eclipse. Let's knock on wood here and make sure it's not cloudy. Now they're saying they're calling for clouds in the morning. I wish, I almost wish it was today because it is a bright, sunny day out today. I actually went and took a couple photographs, you know, went through and uh, saw uh, a couple things. Um, just just to kind of see how well the glasses worked and everything. They work good. You can, you can really see the sun. Hopefully it is good and clear. And we are good to go on that. So basically how this is going to work is I'm putting this video out in the morning to kind of get everybody ready. And I'm going to try to take as much footage as I can of the eclipse as it happens. And then that video will be out later tonight for you guys. I'm going to make sure that that is out tonight so that everybody can see it. Um, and, and hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's, you know, it's, it's getting hyped up, really hyped up for, uh, three minutes of airtime. So, uh, but you know, it's cool. This is something I kind of wanted to talk about because I, I've been kind of reading some things about the total eclipse and what actually happens when it does happen. Uh, a lot of what I read was talking about listening to everything around you listening to the quietness, that things may seem a little off. And uh, if you can see any wildlife or anything, which we don't have much, maybe, maybe we'll see some squirrels. Maybe some squirrels will be running in circles for a minute or two, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I'm interested in the eclipse, but I, I think I'm more interested in that. I want to look around and see if it feels different. If it feels different. You know, you go, you go down the... Uh, the rabbit hole of said internet and you'll start finding all different kinds of strange things. There are still people that think the world is going to end. I, you know, who knows? Who knows? That's, there's, you know, it's, I doubt it. I doubt it. 
But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see all the different wildlife, or all the different, like, sounds and things. Uh, so somewhere I read it said that it can almost be almost deafening, like you're kind of, like, in a pool. Like, imagine you're in a pool, but you can, you're underwater, but you can hear everything, but it has that sound like you're in a pool. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to have my high powered microphone out here. So we're going to, we're going to listen to these things here later on and see what's going on. And I'm basically just going to kind of take clips of the eclipse. I don't want to point my camera directly into the sun for a significant amount of time. I'll just kind of take clips and kind of put them together because uh, it can affect a sensor on your camera and I don't want that to happen. So anyway, excited about uh, for, for you guys this afternoon. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be about 2.30, 3 o'clock. So I'm going to have some things to set up. We're going to check it out. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I know we got a lot of requests for me to do something for this. And I was like, eh, you know, this is, uh, I really, be honest, I really wasn't that interested. But a lot of people started to hype me up on this. Thank you to everyone who was uh, excited. And, and I would kind of feel bad if I didn't. Right, if if because here I am in Cincinnati, this it's gonna be almost as good as what it is ten miles west of here. So I would feel bad if I didn't record some of this for people that aren't able to see it. So you know, it's 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 pretty it's exciting. I'm I'm getting hyped up. So I know Jess is excited, but she's you know she's paying attention to the weather and everything, saying it's supposed to be cloudy in the morning and. She, she seems to think that it's going to be too cloudy for us to see anything, so we're just going to have to wait and see on that. Uh, either way, I will put a video out tonight, and we'll talk about it, because I still, even if we can't see the sun or anything, I'm curious what it's going to sound like, what it's going to sound like for those four or five minutes. You know, the different, uh, different scenery and stuff may look around and see if we can find some different animals and see if because you know animals have like this intuition you know in, in their brains it's like instilled in their brains that when something's not right when something's off you know the the, the balance the force the balance of the force is off and they know it they know it um a lot of people i know you know years and years and years ago before we had all this technology and everything like before earthquakes and bad weather events People paid a lot of attention to animals and what they did because, you know, they, they know ahead of time. They know something ain't right. They may take off running, you know, or I, I've heard the, the cows, people talk about cows. Like, it'll be interesting to see cows, like, uh, doing, they say it looks like they're doing like a dance when there's a total eclipse. And we have a lot of dairy farms in Ohio. So if you are recording and putting stuff out here, whether it's on YouTube or TikTok or whatever, if if somebody's near some cows, make sure you film some cows for us out there. And uh, that's kind of why I wanted to get this video up here, just talking about it a little early. So in case anybody had any questions or wanted to comment on things, maybe some people, maybe it'll help hype people up for other places in Ohio that they're going to be able to see it. Maybe not a totality, which it's not going to be a total, uh, but it's going to be pretty close. And like I said, I think it's going to be more than what people are saying, uh, at least here in Cincinnati. It's the, the, the line is, is very close, very close. So we'll see what we see. Uh, I did try, I was trying to take pictures of the sun with those little glasses on them. Not going to happen. I'm just going to wait until it's like covered and then just kind of take some clips, see what it looks like. I have a pretty decent camera, so we'll see what happens. I also took some photos, uh, today. Don't think I'm going to use that for the thumbnail, of this video it's kind of funny talking about a video before you've edited the video and put out a video because you always think of the thumbnail last i i've been trying to think of thumbnails first i took some pretty cool pictures like out in the distance with the field and everything in the background with the sun it looks really good but i may save that thumbnail for uh the actual event so we'll see what happens uh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting uh now around here everywhere around here in Cincinnati, all kids are off school. They canceled school. And, you know, at first, you know, I'm a little old school, no pun intended, but, you know, it's like, normally I would have felt like maybe this isn't something that you should call off school for. And then I thought to myself, wow, that's, that was pretty, pretty bad of me to even think that way. This is a historic event. 
It hasn't been in this direct line, at least what they say, since 1806. In my book, that's considered a, a historical event. And I think everybody should have the opportunity uh, to be able to see it and say they were there. Um, but yeah, from the looks of everything, uh, I'm staying where I am. I'm not even going to try and get into any of those crowds. Uh, the way I look at it is I have my own personal front seat here for it. If I don't get the entitle or the entire casing of it, maybe there might be a little sliver, a little sliver over here. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. I'm not going to wait four or five hours trying to get home, you know, from, from what's normally a 15, 20 minute drive from here. So we're going to see what we see. It should be, it should be fun. I'm excited. Uh, got my, got a couple cameras I'm going to be using. I got my Sony here. Uh, a couple other things, you know, some of these smartphones, these guys days, these days, guys, wow, I'm not with it today. Maybe we need a sip of coffee, drinking the Starbucks. Good old Pike's Place, needed something strong, strong to get hyped up for this and everything. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny around here right now because it feels like a Saturday night. It feels like a Saturday. Because all the kids are off school tomorrow. I feel like I was out driving around and I was going to do like a video out somewhere. And I was like, you know what? Everywhere I went was so crowded. I'm just driving past places. I'm like, everything's so crowded. I'm like, I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to sit here, talk about the eclipse a little bit. Try to try to hype up our audience here uh, for what's to come tonight. It's not going to be a very long video tonight. Um, but Jess will be in it. Uh, we'll, we'll be viewing it together. And, and again, I, I'm not really sure what to expect. So I'm going to do as best as I can to get whatever, you know, view that I can, you know, if I have to go out a little bit to even try to see, but it's, it's still going to be dark. You know, even if we can't see the whole thing, it's still going to be dark out here. So it'll be pretty crazy to see it almost pitch black at two 30 in the afternoon. So and again, we'll see what the little squirrelies are doing uh, and some other animals. And we'll just chat about it, you know, and some of the, some of the history on it is pretty interesting. Uh, some, some crazy events have happened through uh, different eclipses over the years. And, you know, that's always been a thing where people were very superstitious uh, more, more long, long time ago. Uh, because, yeah, could you imagine, like, three, four, five hundred years ago? And then everything just go dark in the middle of the afternoon. I don't know. Without the kind of knowledge and information that we have today, I would probably think the world's coming to an end. <laughs> but that's just me. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments on all this. I'm just going to end it here. Um, just wanted to hype everybody up for this video to come and the eclipse to come. I, you know, I wish more and more people could see it, but that is exactly why I'm doing it. So that... Everybody can have a chance to at least see what it was like here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Guys, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I will have that video. Even if we can see it or not, we'll have a little chat. We'll hang out again tonight for a little while. So make sure you are subscribed so you get that notification. When the eclipse comes upon us, all the werewolves will rise from the ground. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Anything could happen, I guess. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you tonight.